All righty, guys. Here we go. Final two matches. Exciting stuff. I'm excited. 12 and 2, Kotono Waka, the Seke Wake. And you can basically say, now some people will say that he's, he's done enough. Um, he doesn't need this win to perhaps still become an Ozeki, but a lot of purists are saying, no, he needs to get this win. And of course, if he gets this win, he will definitely uh, be involved in a uh, playoff. Uh, well, no, I mean, I guess Terano Fuji loses, then he just becomes the winner, right? So still lots that can happen, but he wants this win. Tobizaru, of course, wants this win just for Kachikoshi uh, at Maigashiro 4. <laughs> Definitely less important to, to Tobizaru, but still he's motivated to get the win, to get his Kachikoshi. And, uh, you know, if Kotonowaka is going to become an Ozeki, he should win matches like this, right? That is a good test. You know, you got to be able to show up when the pressure's on, when it comes down to the final day, and you got to get that win. And if you're going to be an Ozeki, you should be in command. And uh, I'm rooting for him. So I, I hope he gets it. And then uh, we'll have to see. Now, if he loses, then we want Kirishima to beat Terano Fuji. So then we'll have a three-way playoff. Uh, that would be the most exciting thing for fans. Now, it might not, might not be exciting if you're a Terano Fuji fan. But uh, that would be certainly a great way to end this tournament. Uh, all three of them having one more chance to win the U Show. But if he wins here... Uh, then we'll just have to wait a little bit and see what else happens. Okay, again, uh, some shout-outs to people who have joined the channel. Just going along, just my appreciation to all of you guys. Danny, Carl H., Forrest, uh, Michael T., Haven, Potato of Destiny, Jack's Dragon, Andy McCavish, Marcy F., Marcus W., Mark R., Suburban, Trucker Mark, Kirk, Jess Swope, Tulio C, Wolt Hog, Ricky Marcel, Cameron, Budabelli, Bruce, Diane C, F, uh, K, Rain Salo, Ojisan, <laughs> Stephen Chuck, Bill Butler, Shane, uh, Booker, Magic Unicorns, David Lotwin, uh, Toriaezu Nama, <laughs> Greg S, Lugosi, Bradley S, Drew, and now we're up to the people that just signed up, so I'll do a few more of those in the final match of the day. Uh, so again, thank you to everybody that's gone by channel membership. It means a lot. There's three levels. One, I think, is only like $1.50 a month uh, in American dollars. The other two are like two ninety nine and three ninety nine. I think. Um, you can basically be a Seke Wake, a, a Ozeki, or a Yokozuna level member. And uh, I do appreciate the support. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> for me, the contest stays fairly manageable at about six winners. Because uh, I was really worried I was going to have like 40, 40 people tied for first place. So we'll see. A lot's going to happen here in these next two matches to determine all kinds of stuff. All right. As they get ready to throw salt this last time, it just occurred to me that, you know, this is a huge match, you know, this huge day for sumo. It is a popular sport in Japan, but it's not that popular. And the interesting thing is you rarely see famous people uh, in in the crowd, in the audience, because the camera would definitely find them. I mean, definitely over my 20 years watching sumo, I've seen, you know, Paul McCartney showed up one time. You know, Donald Trump came that one time. Uh, members of the Backstreet Boys were in the audience one time. Uh, totally distracted Asa Shoru because he was a huge Backstreet Boys fan. Uh, Japanese celebrities, not so much. Or, or, you know, maybe there's no real boxes for them to sit in. There's the royal box if you're the royal family. But they haven't shown up in a while either. So it's interesting. Uh, compared to like Laker games or something in America where a lot of celebrities sit ringside or courtside. Oh! 
with authority at the end. Alright, so you're looking at our next Dozeki. I can't imagine though they won't promote him. Uh, look at that stack of envelopes. Great tournament, 13 and 2, doing everything he's got to do. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that announcement will come soon. And uh, you know, he lost, uh, he obviously got the Shakun show and the Gino show, uh, today. Uh, I don't know exactly. It said conditional by the Shakun show. I was a little worried he might've hit the top knot there. He lost to Wakamoto Haru. And of course he did lose to the Yokozuna. But other than that, you know, uh, he had a, he did get one free win too. Uh, when somebody, I think it was Takayasu or somebody pulled out of the tournament and gave him a free win. But uh, outstanding performance from him, and congratulations, 13-2. and two. And now we just have to wait and see what happens in the next match. Maybe there's a playoff, or maybe he will also be the U-Show champion. Come on back.